Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just have a little Sunny Days project share for you guys of some bag toppers that I made. So I just wanted to show you guys them all in detail before I pack them up for my swap and for a giveaway. So we're going to get through all these and I'm going to show them all to you. And they're so cute. I did do four of these on a YouTube live video and then two of them I did off camera. So I will also have that live linked down below, but I did want to show you guys in detail. So let's get started. Okay, so one of the ones I did off camera is this one right here. And like I said, I used the Sunny Days paper collection. So um, the paper Sunny Days, and then I print and cut Ephemera from the Sunny Days collection because I was running low on chipboard and I really have like none of the chipboard left like this is all I got <laughs> so um I just print and cut some ephemera and I didn't have any stickers or anything so I made it work guys but look how pretty this turned out I did use a couple of pieces of chipboard in this one and then I just layered a whole bunch of other goodies and added some enamel dot gemmy thingies from AliExpress from the KS craft store um and yeah i think it turned out so cute it's not that chunky but chunky enough at the same time do you know what i mean um so this is just one of the bag toppers another bag topper that i did off camera and this is the only other one off camera is this one and this one says the sweet life so i added in a whole bunch of like goodies like fruits and ice cream here um i added in some flowers in the back a little tag and then i added this eyelash trim back there because i thought it was cute and for this one i used a super fun watermelon paper i love this paper so much from the collection so i used that i also added some thread back there and used like another one of those pieces and here i added like some diamond jemmies i added one here and one there and then some circle jemmies that i just had in my stash and they're so cute and little sunglasses here. I just love how all these turned out. I think they're so adorable. Then I also made this one, and then this one I made all on camera, and the next four is on camera. So I made this one and I added this cute little girl with an umbrella behind her. We have the XOXO and it says, grab my hand, let's go. And I think that's so cute. I love that little saying and I think it fits with the little bike. Um, we have a watermelon back here and then just some enamel dots again from my stash and some thread behind the um, the bicycle. Isn't this so cute? And this one I just used some paper that just had like little like watercolor polka dots. So nothing too fancy but it came out really cute in a bag topper. Then I also made this one. This one says, when you stop and look around, a life is pretty amazing. I have another cherry here, but this one is a lot smaller than the other one that we used. So this one was a lot bigger and this one's smaller. Um, I have this little girl that's on like a tube, like in the water. I have this flower. This flower is from, it's not from this collection. I think it's from Carousel. Um, I have a tag back here and a cute little handbag some jemmies around here and I added some lace underneath the wording here and I think that turned out really cute as well and the background paper here is like a beach theme so you have like a person and a dog a beach ball sunglasses and a lounging chair the umbrella and I think it all just kind of like worked together and I really like how that turned out as well then I have this one this one says you and me and I'm using this like bluish pink turquoise paper. And here I had another little girl or another girl here, but this time she had a blue shirt instead of the yellow shirt. So we have the blue shirt now. I have a gold leaf here that I just had in my stash, added some bling and jemmies. And here I layered um, an airplane that has a, like some thread behind it and a little ice cream and then under the you and me i layered some pom-pom trim and i think that turned out really cute also i love how all of these turned out to be honest like i don't normally make bag toppers but i love how they turned out and in case you're wondering i used a die for the bag topper so i could have that link down below as well in case you guys want to get that die because i think it's so fun and so cute for bag toppers 
And then I also made this one. This one says sun and shine, a moment to explore with a little bathing suit, some jemmies, sunglasses, another little handbag back here with another jemmy. And then back here I have like a conch shell with like some greenery peeking out through it. And behind the bathing suit I have um, that thread, the gold thread. I just love it. And here's the paper that I used, but I did not fold this correctly. So it doesn't, you know, it's not straight, but it's okay because the bag topper still turned out cute and it looks really pretty. It's like one of my favorite ones. And then I just have like some leftover print and cut ephemera that I just had laying in here with all my other bag toppers. That is all the bag toppers that I made. So I just wanted to show you guys in detail because I know not everybody's going to watch like the live video. You know, they're too long for some people to watch and just sit through when it's not actually live to watch the replay. Um, so I wanted to show you guys in detail my little um, bag toppers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Talk to you soon. Bye.